One of the most inspiring aspects of my job is working with the community and being responsive to their needs. But it's also about building connection with the individuals in the community, uh, with the groups that they're part of, whether it's an industry group or a land care group. It's building that connection and watching the things that flow from that greater connection. My name's Daintree Durand and I'm the Regional Agricultural Land Care Facilitator with Hunter Local Land Services, funded by the Australian Government and we're rolled out across all states of the country. In New South Wales, my position is hosted by Local Land Services. One of the key partnerships I've been working on in Hunter LLS over the last few years is with the Mid-North Coast Women in Dairy who have been working very hard to support farming families and farming enterprises. One of the particular initiatives that I've been involved with with them has been the development of the Youth in Agriculture Scholarship Program which was designed to provide linkage between the schools and TAFE and farmers to give young people who are interested in farming uh, a little bit of a, a leg up. The Careers in Ag program, um, it, it was addressing a couple of different issues and, and one of those is, is connecting the students to farming, helping them with work placement, training. It was lovely to see the confidence of those students grow. Some of the conversations I had with them, they were talking about you know, after year 12, where they want to head and they want to work you know, on a farm or do further training at Tokal Ag College or follow on through it. So it was a great, I think, confidence booster and catalyst. With organisations like the dairy industry, it's a support role that I would play. But I have a more formal relationship um, and LLS has a more formal relationship with the land care networks in this region. We signed a formal memorandum of understanding or partnership agreement with the two overarching land care networks in the region. That being the Mid Coast to Tops Land Care Connection and Hunter Region Land Care Network. I think it's very insightful sort of collaboration and I have to sort of commend Land Care New South Wales and Local Land Services for forming that collaboration. I think that's a really worthwhile and really productive collaboration. The committed support has been invaluable to give us confidence, let alone the capability to exercise our ambitions. In our Hunter region now we have regional land care coordinators to provide some additional support to those local coordinators. So the regional coordinator is really leading the coordinator team and so she's able to coordinate the ideas that come from them and their communities, but also more particularly to work more closely with our partners in the region. We have Jess Leck in the Men in Great Lakes and we have Henrietta Mooney in the Hunter. And so they've been able to pick up you know, on some great initiatives such as the Local Leaders Program, which was a, a leadership program um, which started in 2019 and we ran it in the Men in Great Lakes and we're soon to kick that off in the Lower Hunter region. We're going to invite anybody working within the community uh, to join us for this Local Leaders Program where we're all going to learn how to facilitate a project that we're really passionate about and get the help of the other participants and the facilitators to do that with the ultimate aim of creating what we call a community of practice uh, where we create a community that can work together and help each other long after the course is finished. Whilst I might have started out wanting to build a stronger connection with the community, some of the initiatives I was working on, for instance the Local Leaders Program, it built a really strong connection within the community, <laughs> between different parts of the community. Particularly looking at what she helped us do with the Local Leaders course is that when the fires and the, and the drought was happening that we stepped up as a group and worked with some other groups in Taree for the Fire Recovery Centre. That was a really key moment of us all to think that we had the skills to do that and a lot of that was, you know, thanks to Daintree's input into a lot of the programs that she's directed us towards. So that connection with people and community, the people in the community, is very much important to me, close to my heart and where I see 
the solutions to you know, improving land management and sustainability for the future. We're really just fortunate that we've got Daintree in our region and I know on our group, part of our Women in Dairy group, and we do regard her as one of our Women in Dairy as well. She attends to detail and is very receptive to what people's needs are. And I don't think we could have chosen a better person for the role. I think we're on a winner with Daintree, so um, we're very lucky actually to have her. So um, we're going to hold on to her for as long as we can. <laughs> yeah. If you're in the region and you're involved in land management, whether it be biodiversity conservation, dairy farming, beef farming, um, horticulture, there are many different ways through local land services that we can engage. Whether you're a small farmer, a new farmer, there are lots of different ways that we can respond. And that's a great part of my job, is trying to build those connections and the linkages. And I encourage people to come forward, you know, have a chat, uh, and, and let's see you know, what, what can flow on from that.